Um, there's so much history with the character as well. Um, did you use just this script for it, or did you go back and look at Michelle Pfeiffer and Julie Newmar and, and comics and things like that? I went back and looked at the comics, um, just to acquaint myself with the history of the character. <clears throat> and I, I, I read uh, that Bob Kane had based the character in part on Hedy Lamarr, so I went back and I checked out her films. And um, I drew some inspiration from her, but I didn't want to focus on the other people, on other people's interpretation of it because I, I didn't see what, where that would get me. It would only be a rehashing of something that they'd already done and done very well. I, I, I thought it was probably best to just focus on being a part of Chris Nolan's Gotham City. Mm. There's so many facets to her as well. Um, mm. Is your first point of attack maybe like the voice or is it the physicality, the way she walks and moves and things like that? How do you start with her? I think the best thing about her is the way she's able to seamlessly transition into different personas, mm. um, which she, I think, picks based on her read of the person that she's talking to, what's going to catch them off guard the most. Um, in terms of my preparation for the character, I don't, there wasn't like a set point the, the, the biggest challenge for me was figuring out how to loosen up my hips. Mm. And I worked with a, with a choreographer and, and, move, and, and, and a movement coach to, to figure out how to do that. Yeah, um, and there's so many amazing people in the, the cast as well. Was there anyone in particular you were, you were most looking forward to meeting? Everyone. <laughs> I mean, just everyone. My first, my first day that I was, sitting in, I was sitting in between Christian and Tom, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, these guys, they're just like talent sandwich right here. <laughs> and they, they're, I mean, like, they're two of the best actors of their generation. They could possibly be two, be two of the best actors of all time. And I'm like, what are we going to talk about? Like, what, are going to talk about politics or world events? Or are we going to talk about, like, the method? Or what's going to happen? And um, we talked about Angry Birds. Oh, really? Yeah. And they were telling me, because I never played it, and I was asking, and so they started talking about that. They liked the game, and I thought, well, maybe I should try it. Um, so it was just, in spite of the fact that these are some of the most brilliant actors ever, they're also very normal people. So mm. it was really lovely to just hear about their lives and get to know yeah. them. I wonder what Christopher's like sort of directing actors. Obviously, we see he can do the action scenes and they're incredible, but what's yeah. he like sort of talking to, to you and the cast like one by one? He's lovely. There's a lot of trust there. He, um, he, he trusts us all to do our homework and to come in with ideas. It's not the sort of set where you can come in and figure it out on set. It's you have to come in knowing, by and large, what you're going to do. And if you get stuck, it's, it's wonderful. He'll, he'll give you time to figure it out, and if you're having a little trouble getting there, he'll just come up to you and ask you the perfect question that all of a sudden makes your brain explode, and you just see the scene in 10,000 new ways. He's just, he's very brilliant, and he's very gentle and very funny, and, um, and you just, at least I was so aware of how great, I mean, the, the greatness that I was in the presence of. So I just kind of just focused on him, trying to impress him every day. I thought it, if I can impress Chris, then the rest of the world should be a snap. Um, Christopher said as well that he thinks uh, Catwoman deserves her own movie. So what, what do you think about that? Um, if he's interested, I'm very interested. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it would be lovely to see more of her, but only if it's with the right people, you know, yeah. and it would be, um, I think, she lives in this Gotham City, and so it would have to be established by the people who have made this Gotham City, mm. for me at least.